Hello friends, welcome to iExamB's law channel Legal B. IBPS SO's law officer notification is out and now the question arises how to prepare for prelims, how to prepare for mains, what is the syllabus for prelims and mains. In this video we are going to talk about prelim syllabus, the previous year questions that came in prelims and the cutoff of prelims. So first of all, let's look at the important dates. The online registration has started from 1st of November and will last up to 21st of November. Prelim exam is either on 24th of December or 31st of December. Mains exam is on 29th of January. In the eligibility criteria, the age lies between 20 to 30 years. A bachelor degree in law is required, that is LLB, and the candidate should be enrolled as an advocate with the Bar Council. This can be All India Bar Council or State Bar Council. There is no experience required in this job. Now coming to the prelims exam. There are three subjects, English language, reasoning, general awareness with special reference to banking industry. In each of the subjects, there will be 50 questions. English language has less weightage. 50 questions of English language are of 25 marks, while for reasoning and general awareness, they are of 50 marks each. Total marks being 125 of the prelims exam. Let's have a look at the syllabus and the type of questions that came in the previous years. In general awareness, in 2020, there were 17 questions from economic, finance and banking affairs. And in 2021, there were 14 questions. From national affairs, there were 7. And in 2021, there were 15. From international affairs, 4 in 2020 and 5 in 2021. From defense, there were 3 questions in 2021. In rankings, there were three and four questions respectively. Awards, four questions from awards in 2020 and one in 2021. Sports, two and four respectively. Committees, one each respectively. Obituaries, three and two. Authors, one and one. In 2020, there were questions from appointments, static GA and important days as well. Let me tell you, apart from static GA, everything that is being discussed in this slide that is present in our free current affair pdf in our bpedia you can find that on our website if you go on our website under general awareness section a drop down will come in that drop down you can find the bpedia you will find bpedia yes monthly bpedia weekly bpedia and daily bpedia and you can use this to prepare your general awareness now moving to the second subject that is english in 2020 there were 20 questions from comprehension in 2021, there were 18 questions. There were two comprehensions in each. Then there were five questions, both in 2020 and 2021, from rearranging the words. Nine from incorrect sentences or finding the errors in 2020, five in 2021. Fillers questions were also there, six in 2020 and five in 2021. Then correct use of word in sentences. This was present only in 2021. Match the column in 2021, two questions. Idiom and phrases. There were five questions in 2020 and three in 2021. Conjunctions or join the sentences. There were three in 2021. Rearrange the sentences in a paragraph. Five questions in both the years. Now moving to the reasoning part. There were questions from analytical reasoning both in 2020 and 2021. Puzzles is a very important topic. You will see around two puzzles in every exam. Then coding decoding is another important aspect. Direction and distance. Another area from which you can expect questions, syllogisms, input, output, coded inequalities, seating arrangement is again important. There were two seating arrangement questions which were present. Data sufficiency was only present in 2020. Now this is an insight into the syllabus and an idea from where the questions came in the previous year. What kind of questions were there in these exams? You can find the previous year question papers in the description below. The PDF of the previous year question papers of prelims of 2020 and 2021 is present in the description below. And you can download that from the description and check out the type of questions. GA is obsolete in that, but you can practice the reasoning and the English questions to have a better idea and understanding of the kind of questions that came in the previous years. Our example is conducting two events, one on 3rd of November and another on 4th of November. On 3rd of November, you will have seminars being taken up by the subject faculties. 
The seminar for IBPS SO Law 2023 will be taken by me. I'll be taking up all your queries with respect to this exam, the preparation, number of vacancies, cutoff, what should be your target score, and, and any other query which you have with respect to this exam. Also, on 4th of November, we are conducting a scholarship test. If you want to be a part of discussion of the e-seminar, you want to join the e-seminar, fill the Google form that is attached in the description below. Also, if you want to attempt the scholarship test, fill the respective registration link that is present in the description below. We have IBPS SO Law online course and after the notification at present, we are giving a flat 52% off on IBPS SO courses. In the course, you will find relevant content, study notes, course videos, mock tests, practice questions and many other things which can help you prepare for this exam. Now let's move to the cutoffs of the prelims exam. There is sectional cutoff and overall cutoff present in prelims exam. The prelim exam is only qualifying in nature. Out of 25 in English, the respective cutoffs over the years has been 6, 4, 7.5 and 10.25 in 2021. English cutoff was a little bit higher in 2021 out of 25. In reasoning, the cutoff has been 12.25, 14, 7.5 and 10. So the cutoff out of 50 has relatively been in the range of 10 to 12. In general awareness, the cutoff in 2018 was 8.25, then 8.75, 8.5 and 5.75. And the overall cutoff out of 125 has been 47.88, 52.63, 47.5 and 42.38. So if you can see the minimum was 42 and the maximum was 53, let's say 52.63. So within this range, the cutoff has been varying over the years. Now, I will suggest you that when you are preparing for prelims, target at least more than 50% marks in your exam so that you are not in doubt after appearing for the prelims. So plan to target more than 50% marks in each of the section and more than 50% marks in your overall cutoff. I would also like to mention one point here. We have started an IBPS SO Law Prelims Crash Course from 1st of November, that is from today. We are starting another batch of this crash course from 8th of November. And if you are interested, you can reach out to us on this number. Subscribe to Legal Bee YouTube channel. This is your one-stop solution for all legal exams. You can drop your queries and suggestions in the comment below. Also, for any guidance or queries, you can reach out to us on this number. Thank you.